Welcome to Easy Maths. In this lesson, we're going to further our concept about logarithms through logarithmic equations and expressions. And so, let's just turn to that. As we tackle the, this area about further logarithmic equations and expressions, we're going to attempt some questions. And so, let's begin with the first one. We're told, simplify the log of 125 divided by log of 5. The student is supposed to realize that 125 is one of the powers of 5, the third power of 5, and therefore, this expression can be written as log of 5 cubed divided by log of 5. Now, again, according to the laws of logarithms, these three could be brought before the logarithm such that the expression appears like what we have on the screen, so that we have 3 log 5 divided by log 5. Now, log 5 in the numerator and denominator are like terms which can be cancelled. They're like, um, they're the same things and they can be cancelled out, or like terms only that the numerator is multiplied by 3 and therefore you can mod you can cancel log 5 in the numerator with log 5 in the denominator and your answer will be simply 3 and so that is the answer for that particular question another question you told log a squared plus log b squared minus log a b again as you tackle this we're going to have to um, solve using one of the laws of the logarithm I think this is the one we wrote first in a previous lesson so um, we have the log a squared can be written as 2 log a and log b squared can be written as 2 log b minus now log a b using the additive law of logarithms you're going to break and you're going to break the term a b and have log a plus log b again please remember to put brackets before log a without which you're going to miss the point in um, working out the question at this point, you open the brackets, and of course, the log a and log b will become both of them negative and simplify since we have like terms. 2 log a and log a are like terms, just like 2 log b and log b are like terms. And therefore, we're going to simplify to this one here. Again, using the first law we wrote about logarithms, you're going to combine them to have the answer as log a b. And therefore, that's the answer for that particular question also. We are also told evaluate log of 17 to base 7. Now, as you approach this question, you're going to first of all say, let log 17 to base 7 be equal to m, an unknown m. And now we further move on by changing the logarithmic expression or equation to an index notation, whereby we're going to write 7 raised to the power m is equal to 17. Remember, we said 7 being the base, it's going to be, to be the base here. The logarithm m is the power it's also the index and so it's going to be the power of 7 and the other number there is 17 therefore we have it this way and then we take logarithm to base 10 on both sides we're going to take logarithm to base 10 on both sides which is going to give us um, log to base 10 of uh, 7m is equals to log 17 please understand that we don't have the bases written here and that implies that these are logs to base 10 as we move on therefore we're going to um, move the m from being a power of 7 to the expression being m log 7 is equal to log 17 and therefore if you divided both sides by log 7 you would have m is just log 17 divided by log 7 remember m was the term log sev 17 to base 7 and therefore if we get the value of m that will be solution for the question we've been asked and therefore the answer will be simply 1.456 that is, using your calculator, you just type in your calculator, log 17, whatever answer you get, you divide by log 7, and that's the answer there. I need to say that in this particular question, and similar questions, since log to base 7, sorry, since um, base 7 is not, um, let me call it a common log, like log 10, we normally have to change the log from base 7 to base 10, a common base, or a common log, so that we will be able to approach the question using the calculators which have um, which are programmed to use uh, log to base 10 again log to base uh, 6 of 28 is approached the same way we're going to let the equation or the expression given there be equal to m put it in uh, index notation 6 is for m is equal to 28 take logarithm to base 10 on both sides and you can move the m from being a power to 6 to 6 log um, sorry to m log 6 is equals to log 28 Divide both sides by log 6, and of course the answer, as you've done in a previous case, will be 1.86. Take your calculator, 
I type log of 28 divided by log of 7. Moving on to another one, log of 10 to base 2. We're going to operate it this way. Take or let the expression be equal to m again. Put it in index notation. 2 raised to power m is equal to 10. Take logarithm of 10 to base logarithm to base 10 on both sides and um, move the m from being a power of 2 to to expression looking like m log 2 is equal to log 10. Divide both sides by log 2. You're going to have this sort of a thing and therefore the answer will be 3.322. Um, and that is the answer. Having thus said, I have a point here that I want to make. We should have observed something here. Whenever we are given log of q to base p, that expression is actually the same as log q divided by log p. And that this one here is being ex exemplified by the three questions we have tackled. Log of 17 to base 7 is the same as log 17 divided by log 7. Log of 28 to base 6 is the same as log of 28 divided by log 6. Similarly, log of 10 to base 2 was log 10 divided by log 2. And therefore, this observation is very, very vital. We could just always move straight that, even instead of having to, to do any more work that in between there, since an examiner would know this sort of an, this sort of an observation is true. Now, moving on, we have another question. You told find the value of x in 7 raised to the power x equals to 11. Again, this, this equation is, is easy since it is like um, going on to the first question here. We were having answer point 7 raised to the power m is equals to 17. And that looks exactly like what we have here. We have a base of 7. We have a power. The power is x. And that is logarithm. This is like saying log of... Um, um, 11 to base 7 is x solve for x and so this point we're going to have to take logarithm to base 10 on both sides and so we have this sort of an expression and um, again the x can be brought before log 7 so we have a lo x log 7 is equals to log 11 and therefore x will be log 11 divided by, by log 7 and therefore the answer will be 1.232 that being our answer uh, the last question we are given 2 raised to the power 2x is equals to 5 and so you take um, logarithm to base 10 on both sides and then you bring 2x before log 2 and equate that to log 5 and divide both sides by log 2 you're going to get the answer as as this way here only that this time around again you need to divide both sides by 2 so that your answer will be x that's your answer x will be log 5 divided by 2 log 2 the answer therefore will be 1.161 and that brings me to the end of the, um, this particular lesson, the first introductory lesson in um, further logarithmic equations and expressions. Check out for more in um, an upcoming video. Thank you.